Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. I've gone over this uh, subject before, but I have more details that I've learned and uh, discovered since then. This is about following the physiology to reverse chronic illness. Whether you're a doctor treating chronically ill or for your patient, and whether you're doing lab tests or uh, biofeedback, muscle testing procedures, you have to think this way. This is how our founding fathers of medicine thought. There are three things to address, causes, mechanisms, and then you have to treat the organs because the organs cause the clinical symptom picture. So this first slide here is about find and fix the three potential causes. Now there's only three, but there's a lot to them. The first one is mold and hidden bugs. When I say bugs, I mean parasites, bacteria, virus. And then under the concept of mold, there's candida or yeast or fungus, whatever you want to call it. But there are specific supplements for these problems. And supplements work better than medications because with the supplements, they're more easily acquired, they're less expensive, and you can rotate them in and out. You can do one for three days and another one for four, and then take a break and then do a third one for three days. And you want to cycle these herbs and other supplements around, and the body will never get used to an herb. There are antibiotic resistant bacteria but they are resistant to the antibiotics. They'll never be resistant to oregano or a neem or clove because those are whole food herbs, these big, large, complex molecules embedded within each other that the body's using to help get rid of the, the bugs, whereas an antibiotic is just one chemical. So I want to give you an example. In my office, I carry about a thousand different supplements. And in that group, there are a few good immune support products and drainage products that I go to on a regular basis that give me results every single time. There's only a handful. All right, number two potential cause is toxicity. That could be chemicals or metals. Now, babies are born today with 200 different chemicals or toxins in their umbilical cord blood, 80 of which are carcinogenic. So if you walk on planet Earth, if you're born on planet Earth, you're toxic. You have garbage in your body. It's in your tissues. It's in your blood. It's in your brain that needs to come out. There are some metals that the body loves to store in fat. So I've seen people gain weight when they're exposed to an acute toxicity. I've seen people lose weight too quickly and they become very toxic because the toxins get released from their fat cells. There are about a dozen chemicals and metals that stay in your brain and they cause autism and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So again, when you look at my list of products that I carry, I have one very comprehensive detox program that I love and I get great results with it. The third cause is excessive sugar metabolism in your body, never burning ketones. Ketones are water-soluble chemicals made from fat. Now, 100 years ago, people would get into ketosis, whether they knew it or not, because of their diet. But now with convenient foods and grocery stores open 24 hours a day and this culture of snacking led by our dietitians and nutritionists who tell us to eat three meals a day plus three snacks and to always have food on hand, we never go into ketosis because the food we're eating is always raising our blood sugar and our insulin and we have then excessive sugar metabolism. We're always using sugar as a fuel and never fat or ketones. That is the main cause of disease in the United States is continuously burning sugar and not ever burning ketones or fat. So with those little blue asterisks for the fourth point, ketosis is fundamental in most cases of fighting the bugs, removing toxicity, and then flipping the body from sugar to fat burning. Now there are a few exceptions and that has to do with how people's bodies respond to ketosis when they're trying to fight bugs or they're trying to detox. So the last point on the slide is that most healthcare practitioners do not remove causes. Exceptions are the pioneering alternative doctors, including dentists, medical doctors, chiropractors, nutritionists, there's even massage therapists, certainly naturopaths, etc., etc. So in every profession, there are the pioneers the alternative doctors, and they go off into this holistic tangent, and they're actually really helping people 
whether they do a, a poor job of it or not, they're trying to address the cause. And as you already probably know, healthcare has been swung too far into the chemical treatment range since World War II when chemistry was pretty well studied in order to keep soldiers from dying on the battlefield and antibiotics were very necessary and our food supply was in really good shape because all farms were organic and processed foods and white flour products were pretty rare compared to now. Now we have to swing our health care back towards really good food and using really good supplements and herbs to repair chronic disease since we have a lot of good solutions for the acute diseases that were prominent 100 years ago, like infections. This next slide addresses the mechanisms. Now, most of the time I talk about the most common mechanism of chronic disease, which is acidosis. The other one is alkalosis. And there are less than a dozen products that I go to to reverse the acidosis. And it's been great. I get great results just in a matter of weeks. And then of the food, vegetables help with the acidosis. The second most common mechanism is alkalosis. So the alkalosis means the pH of the blood is a little bit too high, and acidosis means the pH of the blood is a little too low. But if your blood pH is too high or too low to a great degree, then you end up in the hospital, and they're trying to save your life. But a lot of people are walking around all the time with their pH being too high or too low, and their body's compensating, and they have a lot of symptoms from this. And these symptoms for alkalosis include deposition of stone material, like gallstones, bone spurs, kidney stones, tartar on the teeth. And the symptoms of acidosis are commonly anxiety, muscle tightness, depression, fatigue, muscle weakness, and the list goes on and on and on. There are a lot more symptoms of acidosis than there are alkalosis. But again, there are just a few supplements that help both. These two mechanisms are almost never treated. And I think that when they are treated, I think it's by accident, by most holistic doctors. And usually these doctors are using standard process products. That's one of my favorite companies. These products were made beginning in the early 1930s when alkalosis and acidosis were quite well known and everybody was trying to treat them. And that's what a lot of the research was geared towards in their feeding studies was to fix overall health and both acidosis and alkalosis are problems of connective tissue, blood, and muscle. And if those organs and systems are not healthy, your thyroid, your hormones, your adrenals don't have a chance. Your brain does not have a chance. You can treat both acidosis and alkalosis at the same time. That's the brilliance of the human body. You give the body the nutrients it wants, and it fixes the broken systems. And I put a little asterisk at the bottom. Ketosis is fundamental in most cases of acidosis. The last two slides have to do with the clinical symptom picture. In other words, how the organs are doing. So as a doctor, people see me for these reasons. And you as a patient, these are what drive you to seek health care in the first place. So what's driving your symptoms? It's really organ dysfunction. You have to find and feed the organs that need help. Now, if your doctor is a medical doctor only using drugs, just know that there are no drugs that actually feed an organ. Only nutrients feed an organ. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of products that you can acquire to feed your organs. The best supplements are intelligent herbal and glandular combinations made by really intelligent people. Herbal products should follow the traditional dosage and preparations and the glandular products are best sourced organically, which is rare now, but emerging in the market recently. But even if you have non-organic glandulars, I've seen people get better over and over again because your body takes the nutrients from those glandular products to repair your organs, and all organs and all cells, to some degree, have detoxification abilities. So even if the glandular product has toxicity in it, the body will clean that out when the organs are healthy. But the bigger picture I want to convey to you is that when you're wrapped up in your symptom like rashy skin or fatigue or depression or hormonal issues, just know that there is a cause and a mechanism. So 
if you go to a doctor and say, hey, I'm depressed, and they give you a supplement for depression, that may not be the most intelligent thing to do because you got to find the cause and you got to treat the mechanism too. If you go to a doctor and say, hey, I'm depressed, and they give you a drug like Prozac, then know for certain they're not treating your cause, they're not treating the mechanism, and they're certainly not treating the organs. They're actually making things worse in the long run. And those drugs are very addictive. It's true for statin drugs, which reduce cholesterol. It's true for steroids. It's true for painkillers. Vicodin is the number one most prescribed drug in America. With this last slide, I want to focus on this lower paragraph. The clinical symptom picture is caused by organ failure or organ dysfunction, which is caused by tissue failure, which is caused by cell failure, which is caused by dirty blood and also hypoxic blood. This can occur locally at an individual organ, but spreads throughout the body by dirty hypoxic blood. And as it spreads, you get more and more symptoms and more and more organs are involved. So you have to follow the physiology and reverse it because there's one pathway that is most commonly seen in chronic health care by which illness starts and occurs and evolves. And we know exactly what that pathway is and we can reverse it. And we know the causes and we can reverse that too. And you want to look for intelligent doctors that are not bound by their license to only prescribe and recommend therapies that their license requires. There are no licenses that require that you follow the physiology. I mostly see a lot of guessing and confusion and lack of a system that follows the rules of Mother Nature. I see a lot of systems that are developed by somebody's expertise or experience or knowledge, and it actually doesn't even follow the mechanism by which we get ill. This video is a summary of how you're to approach your health care with your holistic doctor. And if you want help from me, you can contact us. And I would encourage you to send this along to other people who need this type of information. I have a list of diseases and conditions that you want me to talk about, and I'm going to use this format to explain how to reverse the conditions. And lastly, all of this information is from some of my favorite books, and they go all the way back to the 1920s. And there's not a single research study that's large enough and comprehensive enough and intelligent enough to provide the data that this video has gone over. I still get people demanding that I give them data or cite a reference to back up what I'm saying when I talk about treating a patient. It's like saying, show me the scientific research and the numbers from it on how to build a house. There are many ways to build a house. There's different measurements. There's different building materials. There's different tastes. There's different land. And it's more of an art, just like healing a body. An artist has to be creative, intelligent, adaptive, and observant. Thanks for listening. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and a share and subscribe. And very soon I'll start making videos that are very specific to individual conditions.